Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. In this video we're going to do a follow up on the Duck Starter project. So we're going to take a look at what happens after you get whitelisted and what the chances are of getting into one of these projects and actually getting tokens. If you like the sound of that be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe at the end of this video. So before we dive in, we're going to take a look at what DuckStarter is. So DuckStarter is the launchpad managed by DuckDAO. So they're going to look for interesting projects and then present them to us, the DuckDAO community. Then we can show our interest by trying to get whitelisted. Once we're whitelisted, we're able to buy the tokens. If you're able to get our hands on some tokens, we'll be able to buy them cheaper. And then usually about two weeks after we are able to buy the tokens, there will be an IDO and then the tokens will be available to the public. This means that we are able to buy tokens very early and at a discount, which means that there is a lot more potential for big gains. All right, so once you signed up and let's just assume that you did all the steps to get into AmpNet, for example, and you did it all before the cutoff time, you filled in the form and you are ready to go. Hopefully you will get an email that says that you're whitelisted. Important to know, I never got an email. <laughs> it was just a few days ago that I was looking at the website, looking at the new projects, and then I saw this um, upcoming projects and previous projects. So just out of pure interest, I uh, clicked on select and wanted to see some information about the project. And this is what you get. So if you have staked your duck tokens and you have enough, you will see here in this bar your uh, duck starter level. Then you'll see some information about the IDO and then you'll see if you are whitelisted. And apparently I was whitelisted for the Shadows Network and I didn't even know. So I guess this is why they usually overbook the pools because some people apparently don't get the emails or they forget or they're not able to uh, to make it. So I was one of those persons uh, who, who got selected, who was whitelisted and didn't even know about it. So yeah, it was a sad little moment for me. Thankfully, on my level, I would only been able to uh, invest $250, but still, it was a pretty big launch, so uh, that would have been some very nice gains. So my advice to you is put the time of the launch in your agenda and check it out at least 12 hours before if you're whitelisted or not. Don't just rely on your email. Go to the Duck Starter page and see if you have been selected. Now. I can already say that I'm really amazed. I've been trying to get into Polka Starter. I've basically done every whitelisting as possible. Um, so I've been trying to get into 14, 15 projects already and I haven't been selected a single time. Now, I wasn't able to get into Vortex DeFi because I didn't do my KYC yet. But as soon as I did my KYC, I tried to enter Shadow Network, AmpNet and Labs. And I actually got whitelisted for all of them. So. I could be very lucky, but right now it seems like the odds are in your favor on uh, on Duckstarter. So if you're thinking about investing in one of these launch pads, right now I have to say <laughs> I have to favor Duck uh, Duckstarter. So today we'll take a look at the Labs launch. It's only in four hours, so I'll record it all live so you'll know exactly what happens and how to get in. So please do keep in mind, as soon as you know that you're whitelisted, it doesn't mean that you'll get the tokens. That is very important. So it will be still first come first serve. As I said, um, I was one of the people who didn't go to the Shadows Network simply because I didn't know. And that's why they overbooked these pools. So the first thing I suggest that you do is go to the pool. Right here it says I can contribute max of $400. You don't have to do the max. Then you click approve. So you already set up your wallet so you don't have to do it um, when the pool opens. So just to prove your wallet right now, it costs about $8 to uh, link the app and the approval and the spending limit of, uh, of Duckstarter to your wallet. To avoid it, you have to do it each time. I would say put the spend limit on $1,000 because it's very unlikely that you'll ever have a project that you'll be able to contribute $1,000 to. Also keep in mind, if Duckstarter would ever get hacked, if there's a problem with the smart contracts, then the Duckstarter app does have access to your wallet up to a thousand dollars in USDC. So uh, please use a wallet only for this, put the necessary amount on it and otherwise leave it empty. This is just good advice in general for all the apps. So I approved my spending limit and as soon as the sale starts, so it starts on Sunday the 7th at 3 p.m. all the way up to 4 p.m. but I don't think it will take that long to get sold out. In this case, there was a problem. The initial sale was done on uh, on Friday, but they had some uh, DDoS attacks, so it 
got messed up, so they're continuing this Sunday. This is why um, there's already $70,000 deposited, and there is still 130000 available to be sold. All right, while we are waiting, we're going to take a look at the Medium post. You can always find these. Just type in Duck Starter and then the name of the project and then Medium, and you'll get a post like this, usually done by Zoran, which is one of the members of DuckDAO. Scroll down, they give you some more information on the Duck Starter tiers. I think everybody who was farming last year was able to get those Duck tokens on the cheap. Right now, it's getting a lot more expensive. The Duck token is now $2.00. At time of recording this video so you need at least four thousand dollars to get into the bronze level which is the minimum then we keep scrolling down then we see how many seats are available and what the maximum individual cap is that you can spend on that specific project so right now if we're in the silver level there are 120 seats of course this begs the question with how many people am i competing Thankfully, there is a way to find out. It's not super easy, but once you interact with the contract, you can look at the transaction. Once you know the transaction, you know which contract you have interacted with. And if you go to the contract on Etherscan, which is this one, then you see all the interactions with the contract. So if you go to the last page, then you see when it started. So it was 25 days ago. Then a bunch of people put in 20K in duck tokens, which is the highest tier. So basically you find all the information you need how many people went into the contract, how many people went out, and so forth. So we can download it by clicking download CSV export. Be sure that you adjust the date, otherwise you only have the last seven days. So we go back to the beginning of February, click, and then go download. The next thing we do is import this file into Excel. So we have about 3000 entries in here. So the next thing we do is filter on the from address and filter on the contract address. Then we see how many people took their tokens out. And of course, each time you take something out within 60 days, tokens will be burned. This is how the duck starter project works. So we have to count the number of rows, which is 270 and then divide it by two because we're still within the first 30 days of the duck starter. So everyone who took out some tokens had some tokens burned. So this brings us up to 135 people who took out their tokens. So the next thing we do is filter on everybody who transferred to the contract. As you've seen, we still have over 3000 people in the contract. Only 125 wallets took out their um, coins so we're going to neglect this in uh, in our calculation here if you want to be accurate you have all the information in your excel sheet so you can uh, do a very very deep dive and accurate analysis but right now we're going to just do an estimation so we are going to filter on the quantity of tokens between 5000 and 10,000 that will give us the silver level so that brings us up to a total of 512 people in the silver level the next thing that I did is take out the duplicate addresses from the from table. And that leaves us with 378 addresses that should be eligible for the silver level. I know these are really rough calculations, but it will give you an idea. So when looking at the AmpNet public sale, um, and we know that we have over 350 people in the silver level, we see that we have 120 seats, of course. Not all of the 350 people have done the whitelisting. Not all of the 350 people would be eligible for KYC. So let's just assume roughly that 60% did try to get in there. That gives us about 220 people uh, fighting for 120 seats. I know these are all very rough calculations, but it's just to give you an idea that right now at this point, you have about 50-50% chance to get in, uh, which is pretty good if you ask me. This just leaves us with one thing to do, and that is wait until this timer goes to zero, and then hopefully we'll be able to assign some budget to this project. As you can see, we have 10 seconds to go. I'm here on the Duck Starter page. I opened the project, which is Labs. I already pressed the max button and I will see if it updates or if I have to refresh. And it seems like I have to refresh. This might take a few seconds. There you go. Then we press max. We press deposit. Say sign. And then it seems like we have to wait. Okay. Then we have to sign for the gas fees. 
I'll go ahead and say fast, save, confirm. And then we have to hope that we are fast enough. Do mind, I'm using a VPN, so it's a bit slower. So I spent about $40 on the uh, transaction fees and this on a $400 investment. So I do hope we go up more than 10% <laughs> to cover this cost. Really curious if we're going to make it yes or no. So sadly, I got an unexpected blockchain error. This is not good. I'm going to try one more time. Okay, second time, something went wrong, apparently. Try again. Okay, so I signed it a few times now. Um, then I decided to refresh the page. Now it seems I got deducted 400 bucks from the wallet. Um, I can't assign anything more. So it says you have deposited 400 USDC, um, zero available for your tier. So I assume mine got through. So in a few minutes, um, everything got filled, I think. There's still 7,000 available. So I'll just look on Etherscan, see what happened. So when looking on Etherscan, we do see a success. So tokens were transferred. We have 400 USDC tokens and then 10 for the fee. So I do think um, the contribution was successful. It got confirmed in 23 seconds, seven minutes ago. So... The page apparently doesn't refresh once you do your contribution. The uh, error is something they have to work on because it's really confusing. So I propose that once you sign it, wait a few seconds, then refresh the page and see if it worked. So when we look at the address where all the USDC is going to, we can see how fast this was uh, filled up. So the 300s are the bronze level, 500 is silver, then we have gold. 25 per page so you can export this as well and see how many people try to enter um, in each of the levels and then you know how crowded it was in each level i assume that bronze was sold out quickly so then going over all the transactions we see it was all sold out in four minutes which is pretty fast so yeah <laughs> you have to be there from the moment that clock strikes so yeah just refresh the page after you did your confirmation so first sign a message then pay for the contract, which is about $40 if you're not being too cheap. Uh, you want it to be transferred fast. Also, don't exaggerate. It won't help that much. Um, as you can see, you have four minutes. So, And then refresh the page. Otherwise, apparently, you get an error. They should definitely work on uh, on that, as it was pretty confusing. And we're looking at the Telegram. We see that it was not only confusing for me. So yeah, I'm afraid that's it for this video. I tried to refresh the Duck Starter page again. Um, sadly, they're still having issues. I think it's another DDoS attack, just as they did on Friday. Um, so somebody or some group is trying to uh, mess up the whole Duck Starter program, which is a bit sad, of course. Um, the previous launches for Shadow and Vortex, they went very smooth. So this is the only one that is having some issues. I hope they can fix it because in a few days there will be another one. So I hope they have some uh, DDoS protection to solve this issue. But normally my transaction went through, so uh, we should be fine. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was very hands-on. As you can see, it doesn't go always smooth in, uh, in crypto. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to post a comment subscribe and i'll see you guys all in the next video bye